Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Happy New Year. It is officially 2017. I hope you guys had a good New Year's Eve. I'm sure some of you guys might be recovering today after a wild night. But either way, 2016 is behind us and we now have a whole new year of gaming ahead of us. There are some amazing games just on the horizon, but there are also plenty that have yet to be announced and we'll of course find out more as the year goes on. But I figured what better way to kick off the new year than with my top 5 most anticipated games of 2017. Of course, based on what's currently been announced. So, if you guys do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. And also let me know in the comments down below what your most anticipated games are for this year so far. Now let's get started. First up in at number 5 is Neil. Now this game actually made an appearance in my top games from PSX at the end of last year. But for those of you guys that perhaps missed that or just have no idea what this game is... It is commonly referred to as the quote unquote Japanese Dark Souls, in that it's another brutally punishing game, this time set in Japan, with the setting and the bosses taking inspiration from Japanese mythology. It's being developed by Team Ninja, the guys that bought you Ninja Gaiden, and it's slated to launch in February, so not actually that far away. One of the main reasons I am super looking forward to it is due to the fact that I got into the Dark Souls series pretty late, with Dark Souls 3 last year being my first proper entry into the series. I absolutely loved that game and shortly after that the Neo Alpha and Beta were available so I played those quite extensively and naturally it filled that slot quite nicely. The game has a wide range of weapon types to choose from, a master, an in-depth progression system allowing you to build your character in the way that you please and plenty of tough encounters for anyone looking for a serious challenge. Just be warned it is not a game for the faint hearted. Expect many many rage inducing boss fights ahead but if that doesn't scare you off then Neo might be something to keep an eye on. Needless to say, you guys will see some videos on the channel in the future, so if you're still on the fence, then just keep an eye out for them next month. Moving over to number 4, a game that I've been following ever since it was first announced. In fact, I was sitting in PlayStation's press conference at E3 when it was first shown off, and that is Horizon Zero Dawn. Coincidentally, also coming out in February. This is an action RPG developed by the guys over at Guerrilla Games, and the game revolves around a character known as Alloy, a hunter, an archer, who lives in a world overrun by robots simply known as machines. The components that these machines are comprised of are vital to surviving in the harsh, unforgiving world, so therein lies your motive behind hunting them, or at least one of them. There is of course a big story to discover, but what excites me the most about this game is just the gameplay. It's got a very distinct Monster Hunter vibe, and if you guys are long-time subscribers on this channel, then you'll know I'm pretty big on the whole monster hunting thing. When battling these machines, you have a whole range of tools at your disposal, weapons, traps, gadgets, and while hunting some of these smaller machines won't take much effort, if you want to bring down some of the bigger, more ferocious beasts, then you'll have to use everything you've got at your disposal. The game looks incredible, however I still to this day haven't had a chance to actually go hands-on, so it's still a big mystery for me. But either way, it looks super cool, I'm very excited for it, and again, you'll be seeing plenty of videos for this on the channel a little bit closer to launch. Then, in at number 3 is a bit of an odd one really, seeing as at this stage we really don't know anything about it, but my nomination goes to Destiny 2. I am a huge Destiny fan, as is evident by a large portion of the videos that I upload on this channel, I've been playing since the alpha and I have done absolutely everything there is to do in the current iteration of the game, but what excites me the most is what's next. At this stage we've had very little official confirmation on the title short of the fact that Bungie are quote unquote working on it, but there have been no shortage of rumours floating around, many of which have come from some pretty reliable sources. In fact, I have a video coming out in a couple of days to draw together everything we currently know about Destiny 2, so be sure to check back for that one a little bit later. But the reason I'm so excited about this game is because Destiny as a series has so much potential but as it exists right now, it just isn't realising that. But with a completely new branch in the series and the fact that last gen consoles have been left behind, the scope for Destiny 2 could be infinitely bigger than what we've come to expect from the game we know today. And if that happens, then we could be in for a truly amazing experience. Some of the rumours suggest that the game could even land on PC, and that the open world will be much more alive with things to do, towns and outposts to discover, roaming bosses, etc. All of that sounds very reminiscent of an MMO, and while Destiny will always maintain its FPS roots, a little bit more MMO in Destiny would do wonders for the franchise. Either way, this is a huge unknown right now, but something I'm still super excited for, but what I do know for sure is that we will find out more this year. And of course, it goes without saying, that if you want to stay bang up to date with all things relating to Destiny 2, then you're already in the right place. Moving over to number 2, 
Sea of Thieves. This game is being developed by Rare, and while it doesn't currently have a release date per se, the last time we heard anything from Aaron Greenberg around Gamescom, I think it was, it was supposedly slated for Q1 2017. Of course, when dates are that vague, they can slip for sure, but either way, at some point this year, we'll be able to sail the seven seas in Rare's new open world pirate adventure game. I had a chance to play this back at both E3 and Gamescom last year, and from what I played, the game has some really great potential. At its core, Sea of Thieves is an action adventure game where you create your own pirate, team up with a crew of mates to sail around and do what pirates do best. You can search for treasure, cash that in for gold, you can get into epic sea battles with other pirates and take down their ships with your cannons, or even board their ship and make things personal. The sea is said to hold many mysteries and even sea creatures like Kraken, so expect that to factor in at some point too. Plus, you can customise your ship, go on quests, battle creatures and enemies that inhabit islands you visit, but truth be told, there's still a lot we don't actually know about this game, but from what we've seen so far, and from what the developers have said in various interviews, there will be no shortage of things to do. Plus, if you don't want to play it as a crew and you want to be that solo pirate, then you can do that too. But it is, however, the sort of game that just begs to be played with friends, because it will just be sure to create some hilarious moments whilst exploring and, you know, getting up to no good. And then finally, in at number one, is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yes, you should have seen this one coming, and if you didn't, then get to know. The Legend of Zelda series sits above everything else for me. It is my favourite game series of all time, with Ocarina of Time currently sitting at the top as my favourite game ever. However, having played Breath of the Wild at E3, and then later at Nintendo's headquarters, I have a very good feeling that it might just knock Ocarina off the top and take its place as my favourite game of all time. I even went to Twitter and said this already, so I'll be sure to revisit that and quote that tweet once the game comes out. Speaking of which, we don't currently have a date for it just yet, but Nintendo have their Switch presentation on the 13th of January. That's not far away, and during that they're supposed to shed light on their launch lineup. A lot of people are hoping it'll be a launch title with the Switch, myself included, but it's important to note that Nintendo haven't actually confirmed this, and there is a very big difference between a launch title and launch window. If it ends up coming out in the launch window, then we might have to wait a bit, but either way, whenever it comes out, it's going to be incredible. Breath of the Wild is set to be the biggest Zelda game Nintendo have ever made, and pretty much all the gameplay we've seen thus far comes from what is known as the Plateau. That's the same area that was playable in the E3 demo, and that only represents 1% of the entire overall map. The game also has a vast array of open world gameplay mechanics, so more than ever, you have the freedom to explore the world, tackle the challenges that you face in numerous different ways, and of course, Stop whatever looming evil force threatens the world you live in. I'm going to say it right here, right now, on the 1st of January. You can quote me on this. Breath of the Wild is most likely going to be my game of the year. And the year has only just started. Of course, there are so many other games that I'm looking forward to. But being a top 5 video, I only have so many slots. It goes without saying that I'll be looking forward to whatever new content comes to The Division. Hopefully it gets a year 2 content lineup. Or maybe, you never know, they could even go as far as to announce The Division 2. But right now, that is a big unknown, so it's a bit hard for me to list that one, but rest assured, Division is also up at the top of my priority list. Also not forgetting Scalebound, Microsoft have gone pretty quiet on this one as of late. That is of course the game that Hideki Kamiya is currently working on. It didn't show up at E3 or Gamescom last year, but I believe it's still slated for this year. There's also Crackdown, although we've seen even less of that than we have Scalebound, so I really have no idea. Plus there's Marvel vs Capcom Infinite, super looking forward to that, and of course, Nintendo Switch. True, it's not a game, it's a console, but I have honestly never been this excited for a console in my entire gaming history. So yeah, lots of stuff to look forward to. But either way, that's it. That is my top five most anticipated games of 2017. Again, let me know yours in the comments down below. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video. And thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.